What's up guys, welcome back. In this video I will show you how to model this awesome top hat, so let's get started. The first thing you want to do is open up Roblox Studios. If you do not have that downloaded, there will be a link in the description below. And then just go to new, all templates, then a base plate. And then go to the avatar tab right here and go to rig builder and make sure it's R15 and click on a block rig. Then go to the explorer. If you do not have that open, it will be in the view tab right here so just click on that to open it up then right click on it and hit export selection and then just save it somewhere where you can access it in a moment so i'm just going to save mine as r6 rig and then just click save and then just jump into blender if you do not have that downloaded there will be a link in the description below so just click new file and general and click a to select everything and x to delete all of it and then just we want to import our dummy so go to file import and go to wavefront.obj and then just select wherever you saved it once you click on that it should spawn somewhere so once you find it click on it and then right click on it and get set origin and make sure the origin is to the 3d cursor then right click on it again and geometry to origin so once we have that, there's just one issue we have to fix. If we go into the material shading, it is slightly transparent. So just go into the material tab and then go scroll down and go to blend mode as opaque. And that should fix our issue. So now we can get to the 3D modeling part. So just go to the front view. So now just click shift A and add a cylinder. And make sure your cylinder has 18 vertices under this tab right here. So then it gives us that uh, more low poly look. And then we want to click G and Z to grab it on the Z axis right here. And then we want to bring it up. And now we want to click S, Z, and scale it down. So it'll only be scaling on the Z axis. Otherwise, if we're scaling it, it will just be like this. So now we just want to bring it down using G and Z. And then I'm going to scale mine down just clicking S and then s and z so i just want to get it looking kind of like this and i'm going to bring it up using g and z I'm going to edit mode by clicking tab and i'm just going to scale it up just a little bit more to get it looking good and then i'm going to go to the face selection i'm going to click the top and then click i and insert the face and i want to get it inserted to right about here then click e and z to go make it go on the uh, Z axis right here. And then I'm gonna make it about this tall right here. I am going to click Control R to add a, a loop cut right here and then just click on it and then drag down to whatever size you want your top hat band to be. And then go on the face selection mode and click Alt and click on a face right here to select the band all around your top hat. Click E and just don't move it anywhere and click s shift z to scale on the uh, x and y axis and then i'm just going to scale it out to right about here and then i'm just going to select the top face and then just scale that out a little bit so now we have all the geometry of our top hat made so now i am just going to actually i'm just going to go on the front view and i'm just going to click this button right here which will let us select faces that we can't see so i'm just going to grab this and i'm going to click s shift z and then i'm just going to scale that out a little bit and i'm just going to uh turn the transparency off and i'm just going to grab this along the z axis and bring it up a little bit so now that looks good and it's time for uv editing now we just want to go to the uv editing tab right here and then click on our model and click tabs going to edit mode then go to the front face right here and then click a and click u to unwrap and then do project from view so it will display on the uv mapping our project from view and then i'm going to open up a color palette and you'll see this palette is very common if you watch uh, other modeling tutorials there will be a link in the description for this palette too. So once we open that, we can just see it appears right here. So now we want to just select this band right here. So just click Alt 
and select everything on this axis right here. And then we wanna select all these faces right here too. So then just click U and project from view and then go on the UV editing window right here. And then while your cursor is on this side, click A, S and zero to scale it down. And then I, I think I'm gonna make mine a blue band and then everything else white. So to select everything else, it's super easy. Just click command I, or if you're on Windows, it could be control I. So then just do the same thing that we did a second ago, make your cursor on this side and do A, S, zero. And then I'm just going to put this as uh, white right here. And now we can't see anything even when we're in the uh, material tab right here. So we just want to, while we have the model selected, go into the material tab, click new and base color and a image texture. Then select our palette that we have. So now you should see that uh, it's the same colors that we had on our palette. And one more thing we want to do is we want to select on it, then right click and hit shade smooth. And then go to the normal tab right here and go to normals and select auto smooth. So now that will make us a nice smooth top hat. And then actually I still think that the uh, top is short so I'm just going to bring that up a little bit and I think that looks a lot better. Alright so now we have all the modeling done. All we need to do now is export it back into uh, Roblox Studios. So to do that just click on it and then go to file and export and wavefront.obj down here. And then just save it somewhere and then limit to selection only. Make sure to do that or else it will include our dummy. Then click export. So now just jump back into Roblox Studios. Just open up a base plate file. If you still have your other base plate open, it will work in there too. It doesn't really matter. So just click command I or control I and then search mesh part right here. And then now we just need to go into the properties. If you do not have that open, just go to the view and then just click this button right here. And then click on this file icon and then just grab it wherever you saved it. And then just click open right here. Click no on this button right here. So now you see we have this awesome top hat right here. I think it turned out really good. I'm just going to scale it up by uh, clicking this button right here. Or it is command three on Mac and probably a uh, control three on windows and then i'm just going to click shift while i scale it up so then it proportionally scales i'm just going to import a dummy that we can put this on so i'm just going to click on a block rig then i'm just going to drag this up here and if we want to we can just go into the model tab and turn off move so then we can get it uh, more precisely and there we go i have it in the middle right there and I think that looks super good. You could totally have this in a game if you wanted to. So that will wrap up today's video. If you did enjoy, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good day.